In this wind farm near Burgos, central Spain, technicians are installing a new device aimed at reducing the noise of the turbines. Noise pollution is one of the main problems with the turbines today. The ability to design flow control devices for low noise emission will have a large impact on the wind energy market, as many of the future wind turbines will be placed onshore close to urban areas, where noise emission regulations are very restrictive. Technicians are using a tall crane to reach the top of the turbines. Let's see how the device works. The device is made up of a series of serrated teeth, and its specific design enables the impact of the wind on the trailing edge of the blade to be broken. This subsequently lowers the overall noise of the turbine. At the moment, we are carrying out tests on a wind generator 78 meters high with a rotor diameter of 90 meters. The turbines are as high as a 10-story building, with a blade diameter the same size as a football field. These technicians are working for the European project Wind Trust, whose aim is to increase the efficiency and reduce the cost of wind energy by developing a new generation of wind turbines. Furthermore, Wind Trust will optimize the use of carbon fiber to make the blades so as to increase their durability and reduce component weight, which will contribute to extending the overall life of the turbine, thus leading to lower maintenance costs. In this factory near Madrid, researchers are testing the so-called wind converter, the device that transforms the mechanical energy of the blades into electricity. Technicians want to maximize the balance between energy production and machine life. The machine you see here is located inside the turbine. There can be up to four of them inside each wind turbine. They enable the rotational energy of the wind to be converted into electricity. Within Wind Trust, we build a new generation of semiconductors to reduce the number of active elements and consequently the number of breakdowns. In addition, we reduce the repair times by 70 percent and can also work in environments of high pollution and high humidity as on the offshore sites. We incorporate an algorithm to foresee and anticipate a problem before a breakdown occurs. In addition to the noise problem, wind power technicians have to confront a number of other challenges. The interruption of supply due to weather conditions, the difficulties of storing energy, the impact on the environment and fauna, the high costs of energy production and the maintenance of the equipment. In Europe, we want to achieve a clean, reliable energy at the lowest possible cost. For this reason, the concept that we must continue working on is reliability, the reliability of wind turbines and of their most important components. So all Wind Trust partners have completely reviewed the design of certain components. We can therefore say that we have before us a new generation of components that will not only improve the reliability of onshore machines, but also that of offshore machines. Wind energy is becoming increasingly important as a clean and renewable energy source. It could power Europe many times over, avoiding millions of tons of CO2 and reducing fossil fuel costs. Increasing the effectiveness and durability of the turbines contributes to a better and more widespread use of wind energy.